Welcome to Type C Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be unboxing the G3223D from Dell. If at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same monitor, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's get this thing unboxed. Whipping out the knife, it opens from the, actually it opens from this side right here. Dell has fantastic packaging. Then let's lay this down. Then it's gonna come up and over like that. I love Dell's packaging. Okay, so in here we have a display port cable. It is a nice cable. Then we have the power cable with a internal power supply, which is awesome, which means on this, we don't have a big brick. So I love this, it's fantastic. Also very cheap to replace these. That's a great thing. And then we have a USB-C cable because this does have USB-C capability for connectivity, which is awesome. And then just a manual. This is just how to put this together, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here we got the stand, nice and heavy, very nice color. This actually looks like something more like from Alienware. Looks like a little bit higher end. This is a little bit of a higher end panel. Nice rubber on the bottom, tons of rubber. This is a very high quality thumb screw. You can just twist that in with your fingers right there. But I mean, this is like a gray, metallic -y gray. It looks very pretty. NVIDIA G-Sync, absolutely fantastic. Then lifting out the top, there is the monitor. Now we have the stand over here on this side. Let's get this undone. Then we have the stand right here. On the back, it matches that same silver. And then on this side, it's just kind of like a matte satiny black. Let's put this together. All we're gonna do is line these up, put it right in there just like that. And then just screw it in with your fingers. It's a high quality thumb screw because it can be screwed in without a Phillips head screwdriver. And there we go. It's all tight, fantastic. We have a bunch of different stuff with this stand, but we're gonna do that once we have this. So let's get to this. And again, Dell making it really easy to get into this. They already have this pulled away because they know you're gonna attach it this way. So all you gotta do, boom, put the stand in. I'll show you. Grab your stand, come down to the monitor, push this up, click in the top, little clicks right there, and then push it down and it's clicked in. Boom, take your monitor up, put it on your desk, Guys, it's that easy. That's why I love clip-in stands. All right, now pulling off the PE foam, there is the monitor, a nice, beautiful 32-inch panel across the front, just a black. Kind of wish they had matched it with this, but not a problem. More people are probably gonna like this. That's just one little thing I would have liked, but let's see one thing right away. I'm gonna turn this right over here. We've got tilt, okay? We've got swivel and quite a bit of it too. Absolutely awesome. We have height adjustability. Doesn't look like we have rotation though, but I love the swivel. It's quite a lot. I don't use swivel a lot, but it's quite nice. All right, but let's come around this side. Here we have the Dell menu system. We have the toggle switch right here, the joystick, and then we've got the four buttons. Not my favorite menu system, but not a problem. On the back, it's very pretty. It's got the color match to this back here, which is nice. And then it's got some gloss kind of accent stuff right there. I do like that. Now coming down here, power's on the left side. We've got a cable channel through here to feed all the cables through. Right here, we've got the USB-C with 15 watts of charging the display port, and then the HDMI, and then another HDMI right over here. And that's pretty much it for the ports, but pretty good. However, now that it's on the desk, let's get this thing hooked up. We're gonna see how it looks initially. We're gonna go through the menu system. We're gonna do some initial gaming, and then we're gonna do a ghosting test at the end. Let's get to it. One thing to set note before that, this right here is an RGB strip. I just noticed that, this white thing, RGB strip. We're gonna see if it's bright, I don't have high hopes. This doesn't look like it's gonna be bright, but we'll see. Let's get to it. All right, guys, now that it's on the desk, it's a substantial monitor. Flat panel, I think it's an IPS. Overall, it looks pretty good. Let's turn it on. It does have a dedicated power button right there. As you can see, it should glow up, looking nice right there. All right, it's turning on. FreeSync Premium Pro, and obviously it's G-Sync compatible or NVIDIA tested. All right, so once it's right on the screen, we have English right here. We're gonna press yes with that by just pressing it on the toggle switch. All right, so right away, it's been a while since I've done a 16 by nine panel, or it feels like it. I've been doing a ton of ultra wides. However, 32 inches, it's beautiful. Okay, so guys, right away with it on, let's go into NVIDIA control panel, make sure it's all outputting the correct. So it's at 60 Hertz right now. We're gonna change this all the way up to 165 Hertz, 2560, 1440p. This is a good, not perfect resolution. I would say 4K would be perfect at 32 inches, but 1440p is still way better than like you know, 81 PPI or something that you would get with a 1080p 27 inch. All right, now let's check if it can output 10 bits of color and it can at full 165 Hertz. That is freaking awesome. And I love that. Now let's go to the menu system. We're gonna open it with the joystick and then we can see we have the different presets in here, game enhanced mode and the FreeSync Premium Pro. Uh, response time is on fast. We have fast, super fast and extreme. That's gonna be tested at the end of the video. Stick around for that. Console mode, that is very cool. That is extremely cool. That's something that's gonna definitely be in the full review. So definitely make sure to subscribe below for that coming in a few days. And then we have brightness and contrast down here, input sources, display settings, picture in picture, picture by picture, menu, 
some personalized stuff, some short key presses. That's what the other buttons back here. I don't use them a lot. And then some other stuff. Let's change the presets a little bit, go wide so you can see kind of what they're gonna look like. This is standard. FPS changes it quite a lot. MOBA slash RTS, RPG, sports, game one, game two, game three. Those are probably uh, customizable. Warm, cool, sRGB, and custom color. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it in standard, and then we're gonna go over to brightness and contrast. We're gonna turn that brightness all the way up to 100%. And before it was looking a little bit low, this is looking pretty good. Dell's been killing it with brightness recently. Got the Luxometer right here. We're gonna go ahead and test this right away. 487 nits. It looked bright when I turned it up. Man, this is hitting over 500 nits right there. You saw 500 nits. Look at that, 500 nits. That's a big deal, guys. That is a serious thing. At 75% brightness, it looked like lower than 300 nits, but in full brightness, 500 nits is considerable. That's not even with HDR on. I don't know if this has HDR support, but that's enough talk. Let's get in game and see how this thing games. All right, guys, right in game. Uh, obviously, if I didn't say this before, it's an IPS panel. This thing is freaking gorgeous, okay? I just came from an IPS panel. If you guys saw that review, a little bit low brightness. This thing, high brightness now, 500 nits. It's stunning, okay? Obviously, IPS, so viewing angles are perfect. All right, but let's actually go in game. Let's actually play here. Um, seems pretty dang fast as terms of in terms of input lag, but again, come back for the full review with that. Oh, but this thing is a gorgeous panel. Now the PPI, um, I just came from a 1080p 34 inch ultra wide, so basically a 1080p 27 inch panel. So this is a 1440p 32. So it's gonna be lower than a 1440p 27 inch, um, but still way higher than a 1080p 27 inch. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning, very bright in the brights, incredibly vibrant, okay? With the Dell S3422 DWG, my favorite most recommended VA panel gaming ultrawide. That one also way outdid the brightness. This is rated for HDR 400. It's doing 500 nits in SDR, okay? So we're definitely gonna wanna test the HDR just to kind of get a little bit of an idea. I can tell you right away from gaming, it's beautiful, it's fast, 165 hertz, Input lag seems pretty dang low, but come back for the full review, although I don't think there's gonna be any problems here. Uh, the ghosting, there's no red and green ghosting. This isn't a VA panel. It's a stunning, beautiful monitor. Fantastic brightness. We're in a bright room, guys, and it's still a incredibly bright panel. So let's go ahead and test that HDR performance. I'm excited, let's see what it's gonna do. 566 nits, 574. So yeah, around 575 nits of brightness. That is 75 more nits than in typical SDR. That's really good because in SDR content, this thing is fantastically bright. Man, I am excited to be using and gaming this monitor for the next couple of days or a week. Let's go in and test that ghosting though because this could be a deal breaker when comparing something like LG. Wow, guys, wow. Okay, so right away, before we're even into it, okay, before we're doing even anything to the response time, this is low. Like this is high-end IPS from LG low. Okay, Dell is really up in their game recently. Okay, so let's go into the response time settings, go down here, or is it up into game? Let's go up into game, go down to response time. It's in the lowest one. Let's turn it up and do super fast, click that in. It gets a little bit lower, okay? I'm not seeing any pixel overshooting here, so let's go into extreme. Oh my God, this thing has really low ghosting. Okay, so in, in extreme, the fastest response time setting, no pixel overshooting. I tell you right now, there is no pixel overshooting. Give me the camera, I'm gonna show you what I see. That's about what I see. That is incredibly impressive. That's like the best ghosting you can basically get on an IPS panel. This thing, this thing is amazing. I don't even know the price. I'm gonna go in and check it. Okay, this thing is retailing on Amazon right now. Again, links below if you wanna check it out. For 540 bucks, that is a really, really good price. The other thing that I've noticed what Dell has been doing recently is making the monitors more optimized for a console. So there will be a whole console section in the full review. But right off the bat, this monitor looks absolutely incredible. Like for 540 bucks, it's like super high end. Wow, I am really excited to review this. But again, if you wanna check it out, Amazon links below and subscribe below for the full review coming in a few days. But this was Type C Tag Reviews and I'll see you guys in the next video.